Hey guys, today's the day. We are doing a van tour video. I've had a, a lot of requests from you guys uh, because I didn't show the inside much of the van and that's because I wanted to focus on the build itself. But um, now I moved in and everything is ready. So let's see what it looks like. Are you ready? Intro. Hey guys, this is the first video after the van build and we're focusing today on the inside so you guys can see what it looks like once it's finished. All right, let me open the back so we have more light. So let's start by doing a little tour of the things you haven't seen yet. And there, there are a few. Overall, the van hasn't changed much since the van build. Obviously, I just have my pillows and blankets and duvet on top. And to start with, uh, the curtain. So there is a curtain that is insulating and that is covered on the inside with the same um, blanket, like IKEA blanket, as this one. So when I close it, you don't see the difference or barely the difference here. And there's a little gap here, which can be fixed. Uh, it's just little things, it's funny. Up, finding little tricks to do everything properly. And there you go. Now it's nice and closed. There's barely any light coming through, so that's perfect. Also, a uh, cool little thing that has been added. Let me take it out, it's under the bed. Hup. Hup. There's two of those. Those are uh, boards with um, some of the rest of, uh, of the curtain and uh, a little bit of insulation as well with <laughs> that I used with the yoga mats. Um, so yeah, I recycled yoga mats to uh, make uh, insulation for the windows. And uh, the way they work, they just go on here and fit the window perfectly. And the same on the other side was this one and it fits like so. That is pretty handy to be honest on the inside of the van. Now I have this and this that are blocked and I can just close the curtain and yep, it's night. All right, moving on. I added as well some um, little greens. They're slowly growing or, or slowly dying, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice to have, uh, to have some plants in the van. Uh, you know, it gives a, a little bit of life. I'm quite minimalist in the way I want to to decorate everything, so it um, can be a little cold sometimes. Uh, so I guess those plants give a little life to, to the van. So that's nice. And one of the main thing that you haven't seen yet is the table, and I will show you that right now. So behind the bed is uh, a simple board, really. Uh, with a gap that I made here, a little bit of blanket. So you just have to open the drawer and take one feet out. One side on the drawer, the feet on this side. It sets inside the cut. It is, it is stable. There's, uh, it's like three points of contact, one here and two here. And so it's enough for the table to be stable. So this is, this is really comfy. I can work from here directly and uh, charge my computer directly on the on the plugs here but that's not enough sitting after a while can be a little painful so i like uh working standing up uh, so i decided to do another feat which is a little higher and make a stand-up desk so let's do that let's see how it works so i'm taking this feat out yep. so that's the short version of it and taking the board which i'm going to put on the kitchen top and there we go so that is my standing desk as you can see 
and now I can put my computer right here and still work directly while standing up. And, and on top of that, it's really handy because it extends my kitchen top. Uh, so if I do want to uh, do like a crazy, crazy cooking night, um, I have that much space. And now let's move on uh, to the inside to show you guys where everything is. Um, it is it is fairly simple. Here I've got some books, some tea, candles, some other books. Um, mostly travel here, science fiction here. Uh, we have geopolitics over there and cooking here. Uh, moving on to the kitchen. Salt, sugar, coffee. Uh, that is the emerging alternative cup. Some cutleries there. Everything is, uh, you'll see everything is wrapped with a towel. So when I'm driving, it doesn't shake everywhere. And that's just some basic cooking here. And knives. And here, here is uh, where everything is wrapped. So it's actually hard to see, but glasses, coffee mugs are here. Uh, that's bowls, plates, just a basic. Uh, just a basic bowl with the short feet right here for the table. Here is the long one. So that's where they go. And on the bottom, we have uh, a wok. Super useful um, to make some stir fry. Italian coffee machine, uh, just some, uh, some pans and pots on that side. I like this one. All those are water. My, my main, my main thought on that is that if I do have a sink uh, with uh, a tank and, and a pump and everything, I'm going to use a lot of water. And frankly, I don't really need to. So I have water bottles. I have uh, here four liters of water, some uh, uh, olive oil, uh, some jars with flour and everything I need. And <laughs> this is the rum bottle for the, you know, at the evening when I'm editing the videos, when I'm not driving. And at the back is, uh, is my pasta machine. I'm, um, I'm in love with handmade pasta. So uh, I'll, I'll try to see if I, can, uh, if I can make some in the van without making too much of a mess. But uh, if I can have fresh pasta in the van, that's going to be epic. And on the other side, some more pasta here. Uh, let me put that down. So this is what I cook with. Go. Perfect. And the uh, ventilation is here. It's like I planned it. I have no idea, you know, it just, just works. I kind of have to make sure that the van doesn't go below zero, otherwise my butane will remain liquid and I won't be able to cook. So yeah, that's one thing. And on the other side, on the other side is a little bit of a mess. Those are my clothes. I don't actually have much clothes, to be honest. Some shoes, some, 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 some camera gear. Oh, and that is a very important part of the van. And it's the, the water bottle. It's still winter here. I'm in France right now. It's not very cold. I mean, it, it goes below zero sometimes, but like it's not Canada, it's not minus 40 or anything. But I do have uh, I do have a hot water bottle, so I warm this up at night and put it into bed, and it stays warm for the whole uh, the whole night. And I don't have to change the water, so you know that's that's perfect. You're not losing the water every day; you just rewarm it and put it back. And so yeah, that is a lifesaver in uh, during the nights. I do have another system for uh, keeping the van uh, above freezing temperature in winter. And I haven't seen that anywhere else online, so I will I will do a video and share that with you guys because I think it's a nice and easy solution to keep some temperature in the van without having any flames burning, because uh, that could be quite dangerous. So I'll do a video on the on that and, and show you guys like a little tip on how to stay warm during the night. Okay, so now we can move on to the back, and this is it. So that's the board used for the table. And that is the system uh, that was previously in the van in order to hold 
the um, spare wheel which is at the bottom right now so it is what keeps the sofa from falling out when i open the doors so um, that's really handy and then there's the inside with quite a bit of space um, it's nowhere close to be full those are some clothes for both like winter and summer mountaineering and sports gear climbing gear is down there uh, this box is all my uh, camera gear that's my camping gear um, that's my bicycle um, like a little day pack and that is uh, some water so I can fill up the um, so I can fill up the glass bottles that you've seen on the inside yeah I mean it's pretty it's pretty straightforward I don't have much stuff uh, but uh, clearly that's enough for uh, traveling and making videos. Living in a van is kind of an upgrade for me, to be honest. I started traveling on a bicycle, uh, so I had everything on my bike. I was carrying my tent, I was carrying my food, my gear, my filming gear, uh, cameras, solar panels, everything. And uh, everything was on the bike. I was sleeping outside when it was raining, everything was wet and heavy. And, and yeah, it was kind of, a, kind of a pain compared to sleeping uh, in a van where it's uh, it's not always the warmest uh, but it is it is outside of the rain I can just stop it's like my tiny my tiny space my tiny house my studio um, so it is it is really comfortable uh, I really like it it's uh, all all that I could hope for to start uh, emerging alternatives and I'm happy to share that with you guys because uh, it looks pretty good and um, I'm happy with the finish and I'll be happy to keep you guys updated on how everything goes in here. All right, shall we move on to the, to the bed so you guys can see uh, what it looks like? Let's take those pillows out. It is a pretty simple process, but I'm sure I can improve it um, in terms of uh, how fast I can do it. First, I take the boxes out that you've seen already. And then I can slide the bed. And so now the, the boards are flat, the bed not quite so yet. There we go. And one pillow here, one pillow there, and there we go. That is a full-size bed in a short wheel-based van, which is pretty awesome. It's just like a sofa that transforms into a bed. Um, it's a little harder to put out, but uh, it still works, so that's good. So the table that was over there moved over here uh, for the night. And that's how it works. So the bed is uh, held by uh, the, the two boxes and over here as well on the kitchen top. And I do have a little bit of space here, but it's, uh, it's not big. It's not big at all. So it's pretty solid on the back. Obviously, you know, like I can just uh, clip it back here. So that's a pretty comfy bed. <clears throat> this is pretty much as nice as it gets. I moved into the van a couple of days ago, so everything is new and, uh, and looking good and it's pretty comfy to live in here. Um, but uh, I will do some little changes, I guess, here and there. So I'll do another van tour uh, in a couple of months to show you guys what I've changed and uh, what worked and what didn't and uh, the little tips and tricks that uh, I've come up with uh, during the life in the van. Otherwise, I'll try to do some little descriptive videos of some parts of the van build that you guys might want to see. I'll definitely do one for uh, over here, the, the electrical. Yeah, I kind of skipped it during the van build. I didn't really film that part, I guess I forgot. I'll, I'll, try, to, um, I'll try to do something to explain uh, how it works. And yeah, if there is a part that you would like to see more in details, uh, leave your comments below and uh, I'll see if I can work something out with the footage I have already, or otherwise I can shoot a little more footage to make something a little more descriptive. And good luck to all the guys building their own van or planning to build their own van. It's uh, an amazing process. I really enjoyed it and it's a nice little place for weekends, holidays or work or you know whatever you have planned. If you do finish your van, send me an email with a couple of pictures, I'd love to see them. And that's it, I hope you liked the van, I hope you liked the videos and I will see you soon on Emerging Alternatives. Do subscribe to the channel, 
do leave a comment if you have questions and hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys.